We're very happy to welcome Mati in our club. Uh, we've been looking for him for quite a while now. And uh, well, eventually we had the opportunity to bring him on. I think he's a player that adds a lot of, uh, uh, of versatility to our team. And with all the regulations and roster constraints to have a player like him that can contribute to uh, in many different positions, I think it's, it's, it's just uh, uh, what we wanted and now what we have, right? So we're ha very happy to welcome him. Thank you. And Mati, if you could just uh, let me know your thoughts on uh, coming to Los Angeles and joining Los Angeles FC, uh, what it feels like to be part of this team now. Yeah, I'm very excited to join LFC, but it's a big club, how I can see the training ground, the stadium. Everything everything is so new and big, so I'm really excited and I can't wait for play. Thank you and welcome to Los Angeles. We'll open up the questions directly. Uh, questions can be for both. Uh, so, we'll let the gentleman in person take it away here. Uh, Maggie, my first question for you is you, um, we're really one step away from, from the Premier League. So why is this move the right one for you? And then, I mean, it's kind of obvious that the Premier League is a goal of so many footballers, but is it uh, an actual goal and somewhere you want to be then in, in another step? See, my goal is uh, to be in the big team and play good football. I think here is an amazing opportunity to me because the team has a ball most of the game. They score a lot of goals. They won the league last year. So I think this club perfect fit for me and I can help a lot. I can show my my skills because this is uh, the team is so offensive. So this was what I'm looking for, you know. So I think I will fit very good for this team. And Marco, you, you said it was a kind of a long period that you were working to get Maddie, and obviously you're working with the parent club and you're working with the loan club. So what is it about? Could you expand a little more on why Maddie was a player worth? going through that trouble and all the red tape you had to, to get a player like that. Yes, of course. I think he, he as, as he just commented, he fits perfectly our game model because he helps with pressure, because he's uh, uh, he's an offensive minded player, which is vertical and which is a constant threat to other uh, to opposition. And that's what, exactly what we needed. We also needed a player which with his versatility, which can play in different positions. He can play as a winger. He was playing as a nine in Ibiza in the last games. He can play as an eight. So playing those five positions with with uh, uh, it'll it'll help a lot. And then again, he's part of this new trend uh, of young talent moving from Europe to to the MLS, which I think it's it's something very positive. Yeah. Uh, first Polish player in Real FC. How do you how do you feel about this? Well, I'm very happy that I can the first one, and I hope so. I I open the way for for the Polish and Euro players to to move to MLS because I can see that MLS mm, improve a lot. So I think it's a perfect place for for the young players to to show what they can. You know. Do you feel like you're turning over a new page? Uh, the report said of Ibiza maybe it wasn't the best ending for you there or for the club. They, they seem to not feel that way. How do you feel now as a transition to Los Angeles? Yes, well, I can say like the Ibiza, the, the people in, inside and the team was very good. Like, you know, it was really, dif really difficult to, to leave the Ibiza because I spent there two years and there was more things, but I don't want to speak about that. Like, you know, it's a private, it's a private situation, but Finally, I'm happy that I can join here because it was a l really long way. So, yeah, how I can send, I'm really excited. There are a couple other uh, Polish players in MLS, man. Yeah. They come to Fiderski. Did you talk to them about the yeah. labor? Yeah, talk with other players who came from Europe and what did they tell you? Yeah, yeah, I spoke before with the Polish player, with Mateusz Klich. He played for DC United. I, spoke, I, pl I played with him with, in Leeds United. So yeah, they told me like it's a great opportunity. They they just uh, said about let's see like they was the best last season. So they like they recommend me they recommend me to join here, and I don't think a lot to be honest because it's a big club in US. I'm I'm good. I think I'm good player to to help the team and finally then I can show what I can offensive because last three year I played in the team, then we defense more you know so it was. Was not was not good thing for me, and finally, I, finally, I will have a chance to to show what I can in 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 the in the offensive game. Uh, Marco was talking about your versatility, but for you, where is the sweet spot? Where do you feel like you're the best? Where you can provide the biggest punch? To be honest, left winger or midfielder, but it doesn't matter. I won't just play, and it doesn't matter when. So, but if I can choose, it will be number eight, num number eight, or or left winger. And Mark, I know you mentioned about the European players coming here. That, that was very good question. So if you just want to keep on asking. Well, I, I, I think you do it because I know <laughs> LAFC has benefited from European players coming here with, with Timothy, just this season, Sergi and Stipe. Mm -hmm. um, why do you think not only more European players, but they're coming in and having success? So is it the scouting, everything? What is it? 
that is making that a possibility? No, I think it's part of everything you talked about. First, the identification. Now we've become more diverse and we have ice on the ground in many more places. We bring Stipe from Croatia, uh, Bogus, which is a Polish player, but playing in England and playing in, in, in Spain. We bring Timothy, who was playing in, in Germany. But not, it's not only the identification process, it's also the recruitment process. Now the MLS has become an interesting uh, goal for, for, for young talent and we couldn't say that about any American league a, a couple of years ago and this is a, a change in scenery and it's a very exciting change. I, can pass one. Yep. Uh, I ask this because I think on the day you arrived uh, Elias Sanchez received his American citizenship but when he arrived in the US he became a green card holder right away. Do you have intention of becoming a green card holder? Is that something that you want to be honest I didn't think about that. I mean, <laughs> so I'm the I'm first time in the US so I don't know to be honest I work everything. I need to see everything because it's something new for me. Uh, one more for me, it's kind of for both of you, but in, in mm -hmm. different ways. Uh, it just pertains to when you're playing at Ibiza, it's uh, a team that's trying to survive. Yeah. Um, so for you, Marco, how do you scout a player? Because like Matty said, now he's going to a team that has the ball, wants the ball, wants to score goals, I'm sure, when you're trying to survive. It's a little different. So how do you scout a player mm -hmm. uh, that's dealing with that um, and you know changing the system? And then for you, how does that mentality change? I'm not mm -hmm. um, hanging on for dear life. I, I'm expected to have the ball at my feet and make things happen. Yeah, please go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, normally, it's before when I was young and when I joined to Leeds, I would always play with the ball. So I miss that, you know. These three years, I didn't have a ball a lot because we, how you say, we, we survived in the league. But you can see in my game, and when we recover the ball and when I have the ball, I always try to go forward. So I think I will fit very good for this team because this is what the coach is looking for that. So. I don't want, I don't I don't like speak a lot. I prefer show on the pitch and that's all, you know. Yeah, we had the benefit too of watching him on different teams, like not only in Ibiza but also playing for his original club. We had the the the, the chance to talk to Polish scouts about him and watch him on, on the Polish national team in the in the youth national team. And also we we trust as well the 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 eye that Victor Orta and his team have in, in Leeds. I mean, they, they really do their homework there. So if, if he was interesting to go there, that means that he has certain things. And then we see his abilities and, and we just think like he fits their, our game model perfectly. All right, we'll just turn to the final question on Zoom. Seth, take it away. Thank you. Uh, Daniel, go ahead, Daniel Ole, and anyone else on Zoom, please raise your hand if you have a question. Daniel, go ahead. Buenos días, Marcos. Uh, tengo dos preguntas para ti. Mi primera es, uh, ¿cómo identificaron el talento de Mateus y cómo fue el proceso para uh, invitarlo a ser parte del AFC? Ok. Este, mira, en, a mí la primera noticia de, de Mateus me llega porque estamos muy interesados en jugadores polacos por el éxito que han tenido en la liga alemana, de donde viene nuestro entrenador Steve Charundolo. Entonces me puse a buscar jugadores polacos que estuvieran en Europa. Contactamos con visores polacos que nos hicieron saber de Mateus. Sabíamos de su situación, de la lesión de la que venía. Pusimos atención a él. Empezamos a, a, a generar eh, informes y reportes de visoría. Lo vio Steve, lo vio John, lo vieron todas las personas aquí. Y, y fue cuando empezamos a terminar que era un jugador interesante. Le dimos seguimiento, después entablamos pláticas con Víctor Horta, con la gente de Nivisa, y afortunadamente ahora llegó a buen término y lo podemos tener aquí. Y mi última pregunta para ti es, um, identificando este tipo de talentos jóvenes como él, como Stipe, eh, se ve que es un proyecto a largo plazo donde ya se está uh, mandando eh, generacionalmente este cambio, con el, la, la recién inauguración de LHC2, eh, ¿sería una, una, una apuesta a, a corto o largo plazo? Sí, por supuesto. Creo que nosotros tenemos que tener apuestas a corto, a mediano y a largo plazo. En el corto plazo, traer jugadores que puedan tener un impacto inmediato dentro de nuestro club, ayudándonos a, a, a ganar trofeos, a, a meter goles inmediatamente. Y por otro lado, tener la ruta de desarrollo con el LAFC 2, con la academia, que ahora la Sub-17 está teniendo un gran torneo en la GA Cup, y buscar tener de ese modo eh, planes para corto, mediano y largo plazo, como bien mencionas. Uh, for you, Mateo, if you don't mind to ask me, are you aware about the, the fans, the LAFC fans, uh, 3252? They will uh, uh, recognize all over the world. The, have you ever had a chance to, to see the footage and to get experience and, you know, the emotions of the stadium? Thank no, you. I was 
I'm planning to go on the game on Friday because I'm just arriving four days ago. So I didn't, I not went in the stadium. So I still waiting for that. But I saw some video and I can see the the fans here is amazing. So I can't wait to play in this stadium with this atmosphere.